Hello everyone, it's Leo, and in this video we are going to check out episode scans from episodes 27 and 28 from Healing Good Precure, and things are getting very, very interesting. So let's jump right into it, and then we'll talk about theories, ideas, and what this might mean for the future of this season. So let's check out. First, we have a little page of the girls chilling with the balloons in the back. And we know that this is uh, about episode 27. We can see the girls uh, eating and, you know, just chilling with the mascot and the healing animals and everything. They're just having a good time like they always do in Healing Good. But then in this other page, in the second page, we can see Asumi. And this is going to be an Asumi episode. So she is going to take the lead in this episode and we're going to see why. So we have the balloon and we have her communicating with the guy here. This guy seems to be the one that she's going to communicate with um, in this episode. He's probably the one that's going to lose the competition. <clears throat> and she is going to be wondering why he's feeling sad. Uh, he's not feeling sad. He's happy even though he lost. So she's going to learn this new emotion in this episode based on the preview. But we are going to have... Daruizen, Daruizen, we are going to have Guayaru attacking in this episode and we can see here that he attacks the girls transform, you know, sparkle there, posing, I love this, this looks really good, but something different is going to happen in this episode. We can see here that uh, this monster, this air balloon, Byogen, is going to pollute the air and because of this, Grace is going to be affected. Damn. Well, we all know that Nodoka had a respiratory problem. We don't know exactly what it was, but we know that she had one. And this has been with her for a long time in her life. Now she is healed, but we all know that illnesses can come and go in a person's life. And by having this Byogen attack she gets affected by it heavy, heavier than the others, it seems. So in the next page, we can see that Earth is ready to fight like she always is. And then she just comes and boom, destroys the Byogen. And Guayaru gets very frustrated because, you know, he wasn't able to defeat our healing good girls because girl the queen is here you're obviously not going to be able to defeat them cure earth is insanely strong one important thing that happens in this episode is that we are going to have the air bottle yes look at how cute the air bottle is so this is the first time that cure earth gets a bottle she is going to have three i mean she already has one which is the wind bottle she is going to find the air bottle in episode uh, 27 and then uh we are left with the sound bottle that is going to be the last bottle uh that cure earth is going to use in her powers so we see latte here with the air bottle all happy all cute and we see the guy that uh was uh probably in the competition and He's probably the one that's going to teach some lessons to Asumi in this episode. But the most important thing, Nodoka. And we see that Nodoka is here kind of distressed over what happened in this battle. And we see Daruizen watching from the back. What is Daruizen plotting? So he is paying attention to what's been happening to Nodoka in this fight. And Nodoka is also worried about what happened to her. This will culminate in this attack right here, which is probably going to happen in episode 28 that we know is a Daruizen focused episode. So, so far we've, we've seen that Daruizen uh, and the other uh, generals, especially Guayaru and Batetemoda, they have been using the mega parts to enhance the Byogens. But Daruizen is trying something different. In episode 24, he tried a mega part in an actual living being, and it turned out to be a different monster that was able to speak. And now it seems that he is going to try to infect Cure Grace herself. Damn, I, I just cannot wait to see this. 
in the actual season. I know this is like a very hard thing to look at, but at the same time, this is gonna be very interesting. Oh my God, what the hell is gonna happen? And maybe he is trying to infect Noruka or maybe he's just using the mega parts to enhance the viruses or the bacterias that are inside Noruka's body and, uh, you know, generating her uh, disease. So I, like, by this picture, I don't really know, but uh, this is going to be hard to watch. This is definitely going to be very hard to watch. So we, in here we have that wizard again, we have the girls all happy, and uh, we also have some pictures from the Miracle Leap movie that is coming soon, that is coming on Halloween Day in Japan in October. Where the f Japanese fans are finally going to be able to see uh, this uh, this gorgeous movie i mean i don't know if it's gorgeous but judging by the trailers this is going to be a very very good movie so those are the magazine scans we have let's just check out the episode list we have so far in episode 27 we're going to have fly the balloon us me and latte's hot feelings we know uh from what we've seen in the the preview and in the pictures this is going to be a relevant episode because of the bottle and probably because of like this is probably the start of a new nodoka arc that in episode 28, we're going to have in pain again, Daruizen, are you? So Daruizen is attacking in this uh, in this episode. He is going to take the lead and he is going to be very serious in attacking Nodoka. And then in episode 29, we have Nodoka in distress. Let's have a change of pace. Probably, I think, I believe that in this episode, she is going to be healed already. And she is uh, like the girls are all going to be concerned over what happened to her and uh they're just probably going to try to do something together to take her mind off those problems that uh, started happening in episode 27 and culminated in episode 28. And then in episode 30, the characters have been separated, the holiday at the zoo. I believe that in this episode, they're going to get the power up because they're going to be separated. And my idea is that Guayaru is going to use the mega parts that he has and he has a lot of them and he is going to use them all at once and create a very powerful monster so that they are going to need the power up to defeat this monster that is my theory concerning this but what is important is that in the next few episodes we are going to have a big important moment with Daruizen and Nodoka. So, so far we've seen a big focus on Asumi, not so much like the other seasons, I think, because every time we have a focus on Asumi, we also have a focus on another character as well. We had Asumi and Nodoka, Asumi and Chiu, Asumi and Hinata, and uh, I think that this is going to probably be the last episode of her arc, episode 27, and then in episode 28, we're going to start seeing the Nodoka focus again. And I'm curious, and I'm very curious. I believe that we're going to have something new concerning Daruizen. So episode 26 was probably the last chill episode we're going to have in a while. It was very chill, we know that. And it's an interesting thing. When I was watching that episode, I was watching that episode with Inu, and Inu even told me, I think that this episode is like this because things are going to start, you know, getting on fire in the next episode. So Inu really predicted that from episode 27 onwards, things would be hot, things would be serious. And obviously we are going to have, finally, we're going to have a new bottle for Asumi. I'm very curious to see if she's going to use it in a different power or if it's just going to be a minor attack like the other girls. I really wish that it has like more glory and a little bit more perks in the animation of her attack. I'm very curious to see the the green bottle in use because I mean Nodoka has a green bottle but she doesn't use it that much. And I mean she used it once but it wasn't even green. So I really hope that we have a beautiful cure earth attack. And you know, healing goods being very interesting. I think that those next few sets of episodes are going to be fire and they're going to be very good. I don't think that they're getting the power ups in episodes 27, 8 or 9. So my guess is episode 30, but I'm not really sure. I believe that when we have more episode titles, we're actually going to see uh, an episode title like very clear saying that they're getting the power up in that specific episode. So this is what we have so far. 
basically stuff happening in healing good finally and i cannot wait to see please leave a comment with your ideas and your opinions on this topic and i'm excited i am really really excited thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye